Hello, it's been quite a while since I've last given a review about my time at Thinkful. I wanted to share with you guys my experience um, and give a general review about kind of my midway point because the whole purpose of, of this is to share my progress with you guys and give you an honest review about how I was feeling at certain points. And even though I've already graduated, which I'm so excited about, um, even though I've already graduated, I wanted to go back and give you an update about what I was feeling. So thinking back to those days, and don't worry, it's not just based on memory. I have notebooks on notebooks on notebooks of notes and thoughts and frustrations and feelings and all the things you could possibly write down when you're going through an intensive course like Thankful's Full Stack Flex program. Yeah, it's intense. It's you're learning a lot of information, a lot. Of information a lot of it's brand new for most people especially once you get past the HTML CSS JavaScript JavaScript is definitely when you take that next step and then it's a like git that's a giant step um, so I feel like most people have either no experience or a basics of HTML and CSS some may have dived into Divin do into JavaScript, but I mean, past that point, if you do know more, I feel like you wouldn't be doing the bootcamp because you, you already know enough. Um. So yeah, so I, going back to those days when I felt that switch between, oh, I got this, this is cool, I can handle this, to and being ahead, I was ahead of the game at one point, and then, life happen. I mean, nothing big. Like I didn't get in a crash or I didn't, I don't know, do anything crazy. Uh, I got frustrated and things happen and that gets in the way. And so timing was definitely one thing I'm going to talk about. Okay. So going back to, for me back, but about three months into the program, I was feeling confident. Um, it got to a point where we were learning JavaScript and Git, and that's hard. That's another step. And I think what I struggled with being such a visual learner is that Git <laughs> comes from nowhere. You open up a console that you've had on your computer for years and you've never touched until, uh, until the curriculum is like, hey, on your computer, open up the console and you're like what this has been sitting here the whole time uh yeah and then you do things on it making you feel like you've you're computing something in the 1980s because it's all like black and green just like what you think of when you think of hackers on a movie in the 80s um and so you try to do things there and you don't see that anything's happening but things are definitely happening and they like warn you about clicking the wrong buttons and then everything wrong could happen within a click. So yeah, that part was difficult. Um, I definitely struggled with that. And my advice to you guys is yes, take some time to learn it. Yes. Take some time to under, try to understand Git and GitHub and merging and committing and pushing and pulling and all of that. But if you don't, totally understand everything at the beginning, it doesn't matter. Just work through it. Just go through the motions, learn as much as you can. Um, you'll get the hang of it eventually because you will use it over and over again. And I can say now that I feel comfortable opening up the terminal, creating new directories, creating new folders, committing my, my code, all of that will come with time. Um, don't avoid it like I did for maybe like two weeks. I just, I like did the assignments and then I didn't actually use it, which was so silly. What else? So also around this time, I actually switched mentors because of scheduling. So my first mentor was located literally across the ocean on an island somewhere. And he was great. He was a great mentor. Um, the only problem was we were meeting just hours that would not work for us. Um, and so as motivated as I was and excited to get on those mentor sessions, by the time it was time for a mentor session, I would just barely, you know, be able to keep my eyes open. And then I'd fall asleep right afterward, which is not what you're supposed to do at all. And if you haven't yet 
go check out the video um, where I talk about how to make the most of your mentor because it's awesome. And I think it's a huge help throughout the program. What else? So all in all, I was definitely frustrated. I definitely started to fall behind and I never, I never caught up because I kept making mistakes as far as like my time management went. Um, but I cannot say that it was thankful to blame because it wasn't thankful, continued to be such a good resource and continued to provide everything I needed to be able to get advanced. Those one-on-one -on -one mentor sessions that they promise are actually the thing. Like you get your personal mentor one-on-one -on -one for about an, almost an hour, twice a week, every week, once a week. I already forgot. I think it's, I don't remember. <laughs> and I met with mine all the time. Um, but you get those mentor sessions, you get Q and A sessions that are basically ongoing just every day for so many different topics. And here's a little secret. If you don't see a Q and A that targets your, like, let's say you're learning HTML and there's not an HTML specific Q and A jump into a different one because those advanced Q and A's ex know how to handle HTML and also just to meet people and, and see where everybody's at. Of course, another big thing is, be committed. Another thing that Thinkful promises that I think is so true is just the resources and the community and the openness. Another big thing that Thinkful promises that I can honestly say like, yeah, they're really good at communication. Oh my gosh, you have Slack channels, you have technical coaching, you have Q and A's, you can talk to your program manager, your financial advisor, your financial advisor, finan financial team, your, per your mentor, other students, like they're so communicative. And I think that alone is worth it because if you're trying to learn to code by yourself, good for you, that's awesome. But sometimes you just have a question. Sometimes you just need somebody to say, hey, this is where you're at, you're doing good, just keep going, that's it. And that makes such a big difference because within these six, <clears throat> seven months, I needed that. And I think a lot of students will. And at the beginning, I was very confident. I was like, yeah, I got this. It won't be a big deal. It can be a big deal. So I'm just here to say that I think Thinkful was a really good investment. And as long as you're willing to commit your time and efforts, then Thinkful provides. They provide the resources. They definitely do their part of the the story. So if you're thinking about enrolling or if you've just enrolled and feel like maybe backing out, don't. As long as you're committed to keep going and know that this is a process and it's going to take time and it's going to be a struggle and you may have to make some sacrifices to meet the time requirements and the work requirements. As long as you're committed, then it's worth it. Don't back out because at the end of the day, I cannot promise you because I am not you, but in my experience, it's worth it. So I hope I've encouraged you guys to either sign up or just keep going. And if you are feeling lost or frustrated or like you can't reach out to people because they're there, um, reach out to other students, reach out to your mentor, your program manager, everyone at Thinkful is there to help. And I can say that pretty honestly. And yeah, take advantage of those mentors. So this is my first kind of halfway review. Um, obviously I have already graduated, so I'm going back to that time, but I definitely want to review. I definitely want to provide another video where I review it's at the point where most people really begin to struggle. And that's when you're working on full stack capstones and learning the back end and front end frameworks, um, because that's a huge deal. And I don't want you guys to fall behind like I did. Uh, but even if you do, it's okay. Cause at the end of the day, you're learning. So yeah, sign up, learn to code. We'll be best friends. It's all good. And if you graduate, let me know in the comments because it's a huge deal and it should be celebrated. Uh, good luck to everyone out there. And if you have any questions again, leave them here. Slack me if you're a student, I'm here to, help. all right. I hope this video was helpful. I hope I've guided you toward the right decision, which would be, I think, signing up for Thinkful, unless you're just not ready, which in that case, I'll see you in a couple months and a year from now, but I hope you do go back to Thinkful. And by the way, I like not being sponsored or whatever. This is the purpose of this is to leave an honest review because I know I had a lot of questions when it came to Thinkful and signing up and I didn't want it to be a scam. And I can assure you it is not a scam. It just takes a lot of hard work. That's it. All right. Bye guys.